Hi all, welcome to Clickshare.com. In this video, let's see how we can invoke and reload ClickView document using command prompt. This can be very useful technique if you're reloading ClickView through batch files. We can also use the scheduler to run these batch files. Thankfully, ClickTech exposed almost all of the functionality available while reloading through a desktop client. So let's get started. Let's go to the command prompt. Let's let me click on start. And as I'm using Windows 7, I would just type CMD. That would open command prompt. Let me try and maximize the window. This is better. Now let me go to C drive, which is CD dot dot, CD dot dot. And now I know that ClickView is installed in C drive and I know the path, the installation path. In your case, if you've installed ClickView in different drive, then your path might be different to path which I'm showing right now. And uh, let's go ahead and get to the path, which is CD program files, and then CD ClickView. It's not case sensitive. And uh, then it's qv.exe. So let's test that. So this should open ClickView instance. That's great. So I'm running a personal edition here and it's 11.2 SR3. So let me go ahead and close this. We don't need it right now. Let me clear the screen. Like to keep things clean. Okay, now let's just try and reload a document which I've already saved with a simple ODBC connection and fetching the data from SQL Server database. And I know that the file is saved in F drive, which is my local drive where I save files. And let's, let's go ahead and use the command line switch forward slash L, which is L means load here. So, Let's go ahead and type qv.exe forward slash l. Again, it's not case, case sensitive, it doesn't matter. And let's type f colon, and the path would be click view backslash click share video post backslash qv underscore files backslash and the file name is test.qvw which I've already created and now uh, if you look at the syntax here qv.exe will open the click view instance and then the forward slash l switch will load the data into click view application but it will not save it it will keep the click view instance open so let's go ahead and try this there we go. So it's connecting to a SQL Server database. And then hopefully it should fetch like 100 rows. That's my query. Perfect. So let's maximize this. Let's go to table viewer. And we can see this table, dim customer. That's perfect. Let's go to the script. And I can see SQL select top 100 star from database name dot dbo dot table name which is perfect. And let me not save this. Remember forward slash L will not save it. Rather it will reload the data and then it will keep the click view instance open. It's up to you to decide whether you wanted to save or not. So let's close this. I don't want to save and let's open back a test file again, just to make sure that the data is not there. There we go. There's no data. However, we will see the script in here which is good. And let's close the click view instance now. Now that we've seen forward slash L, now let's look at forward slash R and understand the difference between forward slash L and R. So instead of typing, I'll use the right arrow key, which will get me the same syntax as above. There we go. And now I'll go back and change L to R. As I've mentioned, it's not case sensitive, so it doesn't matter. Now what happens is ClickView will open 
by using qv.exe and then it will reload the script based on whatever script you have in your ClickView application. And this is the file path. So let's hit enter. And should reload in a few more seconds. There we go. And ClickView instance is closed. If you see here, ClickView is not open anymore. However, if we go back and open the test.qvw file, we will see the data there. So let's do that. File, test. Hopefully, we should see the table. Perfect. No surprises there. So we have the data right now. So there's a simple difference between forward slash L and R is L will load the data and keep the click view instance open. However, the R forward slash R will reload the data and then it will close the click view instance. In most cases, if you are running through a batch file, I recommend you would be using forward slash R. Now let's just take this a level further. Let's try and add variables as in let's pass in some values to existing variables. So I've created a variable. Let's look at that. It's my variable. Okay. And there is no value at the moment. By using the command prompt, let's assign a value to my variable. Let's see how we can do that. Click on OK. And let me close click your instance. And in this case, I'll type the same syntax as in by using the right arrow key. Now let's use L because we don't want to close it and reopen it again. So let's use L for simplicity. And now the syntax to add a variable would be forward slash V and followed by the variable name. Remember, there should not be any spaces. So it's my variable and the variable name should be in the right case. As in, if it's uppercase, it should be in uppercase. I mean, as in it's a case sensitive. And let's pass a value 100 here. So equals 100. So now click uv.exe will load the data and pass this variable using command line switch forward slash v and it will assign the variable my variable equals to 100 in this particular file or application. So let's hit enter. And let's wait for a few more seconds. That's done. And let's look at the variable overview window. There we go. So we have the value here. So let's close this, save it and close it. And now let's say that you wanted to assign a different value. I would like to assign probably test or my name. And uh, just takes a few more seconds. Let's go back to variable overview window and you will see my name. Okay. So let's close clip view instance again and uh, not save it. And now let's see how we can open click view application without data. Let's say that you just wanted to open the application without any data. So you can use qv.exe space no data. That's the command line switch. And then the file path is f click view click share video post. Probably should keep the path simple to save your time. Apologies for that. And uh, test.qvw. So now we are opening ClickView application without any data. Hit enter. It should be much quicker. Seems to be. And now let's go to control, press control T. There will not be any data. And let's go to variable overview window. We will still see the variable. In fact, there are a few more command line switches for partial reload like forward slash RP and forward slash LP. And you can open click view without any security warnings, which will be by using forward slash no security. 
I hope this helps. I'm sure you can use external applications to invoke the ClickView batch script and you can run your own business logic in the batch script. I hope this helps. I would encourage you to participate in ClickView question of the day where I ask ClickView questions and you can answer them to assess your knowledge. You will see instant results and also you can compare your results with other developers and designers. So thank you for watching. Have a great day. Good luck. Thank you.